everyone it's Megan Pancakes and I'm so so excited I have a whole ton of pushing items to share with you these are the brand new vinyls that came out at GameStop this month uh, by this month I mean September so um, really excited I have three of these to open I also have a few of these guys these are the new newer ish they came out this past summer push animals mystery boxes and I've got a giant box from Gund that I haven't opened yet so I'm gonna be sharing this with you as well so let's get into this oh and Percy is going to help review some of the items for me so I want to show you guys these first I just got them off of eBay they're the newest edition of the Pusheen mystery pins as far as I know, these are a Hot Topic exclusive. I Let me know if you've seen them at other stores. Claire's might have them. The problem is, I have yet to find these actually in a Hot Topic store. You know how they're kind of hit and miss anyway. So none of my Hot Topics carry these. And from what I've seen, their website has been just sold out. So I ordered a couple of these on eBay. And that way I knew which ones I was getting because these two are my favorite favorites of the series. We have the mermaid and Pushina Corn and look how happy Pushina Corn is. I love how glittery and sparkly they are and that's what makes this series special is all of the options are actually sparkly which you can't necessarily tell here but I would definitely love to have all of these. So I'm looking forward to when they become a little bit easier to find. So keep your eyes peeled for more of those. The other blind boxes, I'm gonna wait till the end of this video to open, saving the best for last. Notice I've got my fall pushing shirt. Oh, so I have to do this first. I have to, I have to get the punchy. Oh my gosh, oh, he's so beautiful. You're not impressed, what do you think? Oh, yes, twins. <laughs> oh, he's nice and fat, he's got the most velvety ears. Not more velvety than yours. But I've heard that they're poseable. Oh, there's uh, a nice little wire that runs all the way the length of the ear. So you can make him say hi or be surprised. <laughs> oh, he is absolutely perfect. And he's got the curly tail. So I was talking to my mom about this. That So I have a lot of stuffed pugs. They're something I collect. And they all end up being boys like i give them all boy names and i'm like why is that and i think it's because of him he's been my influence so i think pug sheen is going to be a boy as well but uh so i might need some help coming up with names for this little guy very happy so let's see what else i've got three three of these from gund the other two i got at claire's so Hopefully that gives us a higher chance of getting uh, not duplicates. Oh, I'm so happy with this. So I have one of the Pusheen pom-pom clips on my purse. And this one is so magical. So she is based off of Super Pukishinicorn. So it's like a pom-pom of her. And I love the colors and her magical horn. One thing I personally love with the Pushing keychains is the quality of the keychain. And you have a clip or a keychain version. So very well made and I love it. Also in this bag, we have a ferocious member of the Pushing family. Wow, look at him. He's so handsome, but you know what? I think he's missing something. There we go. Doesn't he look so dapper? So I decided that his name is Dandy. Dandy Lion. 
Anyway, and his story is that he's ferocious, but also fashionable. So, there. <laughs> so that's everything in my gunned box. So let's get started with some of our mystery boxes. So let me show you if you're not familiar with all of the adorable options. And the mystery one is a giraffe and it's the cutest thing ever. And we got the seal. Oh, I think the seal is so cute. Little seal pushing. Ooh, not a duplicate. Yay, we've got a little cheetah. Oh, I love cheetah pushing. That one's adorable. Oh, okay, so that's two of our five. And it's a little panda. Oh, I love the panda because he looks like he's wearing little spectacles. <laughs> so cute. Now the one I want the most is the red panda because red pandas are my favorite animal outside of pugs. We got another seal and I'm thinking this is the most common. Last box. And you know, I have heard that if you can, it's best to buy these in person so that you can select where in the case they're from because I guess some of the duplicates get put all in a row. Whereas if I buy these online, I don't know where they're getting pulled from. I feel bad, I got three of the same. I think from now on, as fun as it is to actually open the box, I might start buying these individually um, from sellers who've already opened them. Because that way I'm not wasting money and, you know, I don't have to worry about selling my duplicates. But, I, I keep, sorry, I keep dropping these. I got a good start. Now these three, I ordered these back in July. And they were supposed to get into the store July 15th. So I'm thinking, okay, give it a couple weeks. And they didn't ship out till the middle of September. So that was disappointing. I'm really hoping I don't get duplicates just because I waited so long. Uh, the ones I, so here's the image of what we have to choose from. Well, hopefully get. The ones I want the most would be the unicorn and the little baker pushing. And maybe the pink one. Oh, and the mermaid. So hopefully we at least get one of those three. I am a fan of the packaging. This is like hardcore cardboard, and I like the little lids. I can definitely reuse this. Ah, oh, we got the mermaid, but she's smashed. Oh, I feel so bad because this is one of the ones I wanted the most, but look at this. I don't know how well you can see this, but it's like she's been pinched like that. But she's all, ugh. I don't know if we'll be able to fix this. I feel like I should be able to push it out. <sighs> a little bit frustrating, honestly, when you wait that long and then you finally, you, you finally get to open it and it's one of the ones you want and it's mutated. If these were like shipped out from Hey Chickadee, which is the site that works directly with the artist, I would feel, or if this were a pushing box item, I feel like I'd be able to get in touch with them and they'd replace it for me. But since this is GameStop, I, I don't know how helpful they'd be. Especially because these are mystery boxes. I don't know if they can tell what's in each box. Okay. Hopefully, uh, nothing else is destroyed. Oh, cute! This is just, we got cool pushing. <laughs> I do like it. I do like the size. I like how little these are. And our final one, hoping for the unicorn. Oh, it's the dinosaur! Look how angry! Oh, she's so cute! Well, I can say I'm really happy that I didn't get duplicates. So they are all 
gonna look really good on my shelf. So thank you guys for helping me with my unboxing and hopefully you saw some pushing things you liked. And until next time, bye.